Hello everybody, my name is Zul, and welcome to the Oblivion Mod Showcase. This week we're going to be looking at mods that make the world look better. That's right, we're going to be looking at mods that add different landscape things and mods that add textures to the game. In particular, I'm going to be looking at Qual's Retexture and the Unique Landscapes mod. Both of these have all mod pre-packaged versions, so that's why I'm going to choose these mods specifically for this episode. Right, so we're going to take a look at Quarrel's Retextured mod. Uh, what this mod does is add some nice high definition textures to the game. Uh, the textures in Oblivion already look fairly good in my opinion, although there are a lot of areas that need a bit of work. And what this mod does is add a little bit of fidelity, a little bit of crispness and depth to the textures. Now it may be very hard to tell here on YouTube, and these might not be the best screenshots, but go ahead and look at the mods page and it will really tell you exactly how good this is. Uh, the you know YouTube itself makes a little bit of stuff encoding problems that kind of thing so it might not turn out perfectly but if you like a special look at the stone bricks in a lot of these screenshots you will see a crispness about them a much higher texture depth uh, I've chosen a couple of exaggerated screenshots as well to help display this this is a very stretched texture in the vanilla game it uses a texture for a much smaller wall that's stretched out and if we take a look at the quarrels version We'll see it looks a little bit different. There's quite a bit more variety and depth to the texture and that will translate a lot better on a smaller scaled image. Uh, the roof and the little wall here in this texture are also really cool examples of the retexturing at work. As we can see there's a lot more detail, a lot more depth in the textures and overall I would just really recommend that you check out this mod. The second mod that I'm going to be talking about today is the Unique Landscapes Compilation O mod. This is a compilation mod of several modular mods called the Unique Landscapes mod that add a punch of unique locations all around Cyrodiil. So it adds things like a brand new little river book, uh, some hills and mountains just to break up the monotony of the landscape. Uh, one thing that Oblivion doesn't have in comparison to games like Skyrim is a varied landscape. It's very plain, everywhere is just the same kind of fields with grass, and what this mod does is it adds a bunch of different interesting locations. Another thing about this mod is that it has a large suite of compatibility patches on a separate page on the Nexus, uh, there'll be a link in the description for that if you want to check that out, and it's compatible with a lot of different mods so it doesn't cause too many problems, and it adds a nice, great, unique look to some of the areas. The areas are designed to look very very natural and fit within the game and that's one of the reasons that I love this mod and I have three specific drastic examples that I'm going to use to show off the mod to try and convince you to download it. So the following shot was just outside of Anvil. It's just a boring beach like there is everywhere else in the world and what this mod does is it changes this area to be a series of cliffs. This spans for quite a while and completely changes the way that you look at this area, adding a lot of stuff that you can't see in the screenshot but just from this already you can see that the cliffs look very natural and like they fit in the game. This next Next screenshot is outside of Skingrad, and this area is changed immensely in a large area. Uh, a lot of different farms, ruins, abandoned homes, and nature reconquered buildings are in this area, as well as a couple of cliffs. Uh, I haven't shown most of the farms because they're hard to get in a good screenshot, but as you can see, there's a nice border here, and if you were to follow this road down, you would actually see a bunch of farms and a lot of abandoned farms, as if everybody sort of left the area as the land was no longer able to be farmed for some strange reason. Finally, this module is called Chadenal Falls, and it changes the area outside of Chadenal to make it a little bit more interesting. This is an overview of the area here, and it looks pretty boring, pretty plain. Uh, there's a little shrine there in the background, but that's about it. With the mod installed, you can see that it's a totally different story. A river is added, large cliffs, and a huge variety of dense vegetation. Overall, I think that this totally changes the feel of the world and makes it a much, much better place. Now, for the installation. Okay, so the installation of this is uh, very simple actually. I'm going to be looking at the OMOD complete version of this. This is the Quarrels Texture Pack Full 1.3 OMOD. There's tons of different versions of this online. There's the full version, there's the redomized version, which is the reduced and optimized, and if you're not going to be using the OMOD version, I would recommend getting the redomized version. I'll try and put a link down in the description for that as well. Uh, there's also a optimized version, and if you're using a non-OMOD version, packaged version, 
I would recommend getting that as well. I have that uh, opened up right here. It has some installation instructions down below, but you have to get everything sort of all together here. And I personally don't find as much of a problem with this. Uh, I have a powerful computer, so it doesn't cause any problems to me. And I'm just gonna cover it just for the sake of covering it. But if you need to install it any other way, there are detailed instructions on the PYFFI optimized version of this mod. So anyways, uh, for the OMOD version, go ahead and download it uh, here on Planet Elder Scrolls. I have already done so, and you're going to get an archive. Extract this archive, uh, and you will actually get a full OMOD. It's also a small readme. Uh, just to point this out, this is the full version, so it has 1.3 in it. It has all the updates you need, so uh, the only things that it doesn't include are things like the PY, whatever it is, optimized version. Uh, so just go ahead and double click on this. Open up your Oblivion Mod Manager as well, which apparently I have open somewhere, and I will just cut to when this is actually activated properly. So there we are, and it is actually activated properly. Uh, then all you gotta do is activate it. Uh, the cool thing about this is it is a texture mod, so it's not gonna have any plugins, anything like that. So the load order is not important, really. I mean, running boss isn't gonna change anything because there's no ESPs or anything like that. This is just textures. It is gonna overwrite any other texture packs you do have installed right now, so that does have to be kept in mind. Uh, but for the most part, you should be fine using Quarles this way. And again, if you'd like to use anything like the optimized version, uh, these actually have to go on top, so you can go ahead and download this, create its own OMOD, and make sure you install this after the other ones, so that all the textures overwrite the non-optimized textures and messages and whatnot. But I'm not going to be doing that in this video. Okay, so now we got to install Unique Landscapes. Uh, this is the OMOD or Bane version, depending if you use uh, the Oblivion Mod Manager or Rybrash. Uh, we're going to be using the OMOD version as usual because that is the uh, tool of choice for me. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to manually download the OMOD version of this mod. So just select a location or whatever and allow the download to commence. This will take a little while. While that's happening, I'm going to talk about a couple of other things. Uh, so, Unique Landscapes, uh, although I didn't cover it in this video, uh, the playing portion of course, it actually has quite a few uh, compatibility issues and other such things. So I'm just going to open those up here. Uh, this is the Unique Landscapes compatibility patches page, and it contains a list of mods uh, that have possible conflicts and a ton of patches here, so alternate start town. Lydium, all sorts of different things right here. Now, if you use any of these mods, you're going to need to go ahead and download the compatibility batches if you'd like to use unique landscapes. Uh, it's not that difficult. It also contains some incompatible mods that are not patched at all. So these mods will not work with it. They share the same area or other such things. And as such, we are going to go ahead and ignore them. Uh, there's also a list of, you know, some other patches and to the individual mods from Unique Landscapes itself. Okay, now that uh, Unique Landscapes has been downloaded, we will get a 7Z archive that we need to extract with uh, either WinRAR or 7Z or whatever, and we will get this OMOD here. Go ahead and activate the OMOD, and it's actually going to uh, just take a little while, and then it's going to appear in our Oblivion Mod Manager. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is a load sensitive mod, uh, so we're going to go ahead and activate it, and it's going to have a bunch of plugins. Uh, again, I'm going to mention this. Check out the Unique Landscapes compatibility patches file. I'm not going to be covering it because I don't have any of these mods installed yet, but I might have some of them. And there are patches for a lot of mods, so go ahead and download them because they are necessary to make things work. Uh, also, don't forget to run boss and create your bashed patch or emerged patch or whatever kind of patch you want to help improve compatibility. I will cut to when this is done. Actually, no, I don't need to because the mod is actually successfully installed. So just run boss and yeah, that's it for the installation. 
Oh, totally forgot. Uh, yeah, this part appears here. Totally, totally forgot about this. So you can either install all the unique landscapes or you can select them individually from a list. Uh, I'm just going to install all of them. If I click no here though, uh, it'll allow you to choose which uh, ones that you would like. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you found it helpful. And if you need any other modding advice, tips, have suggestions for me, anything like that, please leave a comment below. Uh, I'd also ask you to give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, depending on how you liked my video presentation, and give me any feedback uh, in the comments as well. Also, as usual, I'd like to ask you to go check out my Night of the Old Republic Let's Play. It's pretty funny. I know not a lot of people have really been watching it, and I'm pretty proud of it. I put almost more work than to those videos than I do to these modding videos, so just keep that in mind. It's not like I'm just playing some game and not putting any effort into it. I probably spend about an hour editing those together, making them really, really tightly done, so I hope you'll please consider checking that out. But other than that, I don't got a lot to say. I don't want the outro to be too long. I have been Zul. Have an excellent day.